Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Palm Beach County, Florida with Acura Amanda, who recently was complaining about her boyfriend uh, being put away for 30 days. Don't worry, 30 days will pass by very fast. But at any rate, uh, in this video, she is filming the police, but refuses to follow any lawful orders that are given to her, just like any other frauder would, and uh, is arrested and put in the back of a car and ends up having to go to the hospital. Oh my goodness. Well, at any rate, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Car number 84170PBSO. Now, don't get me wrong, I don't have any issues with uh, cop watching as a whole. I mean, as long as you do it properly and don't interfere with it. Uh, but it amazes me that this woman just followed this cop around until, uh, well, pulling over over here and, and him initiating the traffic stop. I mean, uh, yeah, I think there was definitely a lot of intent involved to get involved in this traffic stop, like a lot of frauditors do. A little longer than a few minutes later. Well, you know what they say, stupid is as stupid does, and to be a frauditor, you've got to be incredibly stupid to begin with, and, uh, well, not very good at listening either, because, well, if you just stepped a few feet back, maybe the, none of this would ever happen, but no, you gotta antagonize the situation, and you get yourself arrested. Congratulations, Acura Amanda, you're a freaking moron. Like I said, I don't care about you recording, but when you start interfering like that and walk behind officers, and I told you that I gave you a legal, uh, I gave you a lawful order to step back and you continue to not do it, so you're to jail for it. Okay? Well, if you want to get stupid and uh, walk directly behind the officers at the traffic stop and everything like that, well, that's playing with fire and, well, you ended up getting burned. So, yeah, becoming a frauditor ended up taking a few IQ points out of your overall score. So, yeah, uh, I can imagine why you were unable to comprehend what the officer was saying. <laughs> Yeah. 
in the road or anything like that? No, ma'am. Just put the key for me a little bit. All right. Go ahead, I'm not playing that game with her. After passing out while behind the seat of this patrol car, EMS was then called. I later spent eight hours handcuffed the whole entire time in Good Samaritan Medical Center. Yeah, that uh, that's pretty interesting right there. But here's something that drew my attention even more. Let's roll that clip now. That I had a blood clot around my heart. I was treated for heat exhaustion and irregular heartbeat. Okay, okay. I'm just going to focus on the heat exhaustion portion of her diagnosis that she had. At this point, she was put into the back of the vehicle at approximately uh, 1037 AM, well, close enough to it anyway. And here you can see the ambulance arriving at 1041 AM. So approximately four minutes that elapsed from the time that she entered that vehicle to the time the ambulance showed up. Uh, that is quite interesting. Now I've had heat exhaust exhaustion myself a couple times, but it's mostly been in, well, extreme heat that Florida tends to have. But take a look at this uh, weather report from uh, the Palm Beach area on uh, January 19th, 2023, which is when this dash cam recorded everything. So given that uh, little revelation right there, I decided to go on to uh, do a little bit of research as to what the temperature was like in the area on that day. And guess what I found? The Weather Channel said it was a modest 71 degrees Fahrenheit. So your story seems a little bit fishy. Maybe you were faking something to get uh, out of that situation. Yeah, that seems more the likely the more likely story right there. I mean, you got a lie to fraud it, and uh, well, you're not very good at it, I suppose. And this is the kind of thing I've come to expect from frauders all over the place. They lie, 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 lie. They can't get their story straight. They uh, think that everybody else is dumber than them, that nobody will ch uh, fact check anything or anything like that. And, well, we get people like Acura Amanda who, well, prove themselves to be pretty damn stupid. At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?